What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another reaction. We're starting a new show. I've heard nothing but great things. I am very excited. We're doing Dawn to Dawn, episode one. For those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available for free. So click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. If you guys want it for the rest of the movies, the shows, everything, consider checking out that tier. Other than that, come on over to the Twitch to watch this live with us before it even goes on Patreon. I'm not going to waste any more time. Dawn to Dawn, episode one. Let's do it. Starting off immediately. What in the hell is going on? You're broke and you ain't putting out. Get lost. He just kicked her in the stomach because she's broke and ain't giving it up. What show is this? Seafood names are an insult. Such interesting character designs. Very physical with the animation. I think they're very outgoing with a lot of their body movements. No, I know she is our main girl in the opening. He looks to be our main boy in the opening. Ooh. I really like the art style so far. Some things are very simplified in the animation. Some things are very detailed. What is she in love with? You're a fan of the occult. Paranormal? Not paranormal, more like extraterrestrial this guy's uh okay that was quite the confrontation he felt overly confident about talking to her about that and she was a little overly rude but it was a bit much is that Tanjiro's voice actor? Holy cannoli, I can hear it now that you mention that. He's such a nice guy. Just Tanjiro always sounds like such a nice individual. Yeah, maybe she realized she was being a little mean. Let's pick up his book for him. Okay. See, I, me personally, I always thought the occult meant more paranormal ghosts and stuff, but apparently it means more extraterrestrial she's more on the ghost he's more on the alien side so because of both of their pettiness pride and honors they have a bet with each other <laughs> to see which one's real and they go to the creepiest place no oh hell no Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. We saw that thing in the foreground move. No, I'm good. So she goes to Nagi Hospital, because that's apparently a UFO hotspot. He goes to an abandoned tunnel, and both of them, for me, are hell Nas. <laughs> He's walking like a robot. Next time someone says something on the phone that just pisses me off, I'm just going to make that sound. I swear. <laughs> I can so hear Tanjiro in his voice. I love it. Great voice actor choice. They're so animated with the anime. Does that even make sense? Like him just moving the light around like that is so extra. They don't need to do that, but I love it. It really settles that he's freaking out, you know? That is kind of weird. The entire way to school is crazy. Now I kind of want to meet her grandparents. That does suck. Yeah, that sucks. That's a, that's a very realistic but tough situation, you know. I like that transition. See, just the way she's dressed gives me, like, JJK vibes. Like, she might actually know about some real deal occult shit, you know? I get that. That's a great little five-second story. The reflection in the broken mirror. 
I like how we're both focused on the conversation, actually having a good time. We're not even really focused on the blood splatters on the wall. Yeah, you're pretty easy to talk to. Good convos can make you distracted. What in the old granny fucking... What the f... Yeah, bro, even if you do meet an ordinary granny that says, let me gobble that weenie, what the fuck is going on? Oh, this animation is insane. You can't let her outrun you? The running granny? What is this, mob psycho? Turbo granny? We got turbo granny and the three motherfucking creepy triplets. Oh, hell no. Serpoins? So he ran into ghosts, she ran into aliens. Hell no. Hell no. I... What incredible spiritual power. What in the fuck am I watching? I love the lighting so far. We got the turbo granny gobbling the creepy perverted an alien, his weenie. <gasps> she wants to gobble that weenie so bad, our cherished bananas. What the? This might be the most perverted but most best animated fight I've was the first person. My man. And maybe she was looking for her knight in shining armor, someone who can actually respect her. He's gonna become a curse. She doesn't even know his name. Okay. This is gonna work. What in the dimension breaking? Arigato, Grandma. Ooh. Ooh, she can actually finish off that kick this time. Oh, I love that. Are we in the moon? This whole world is fake. What the fuck? This is easily one of the craziest first episodes I've ever seen of any show in my life. All right. I'm never giving my weenie to you. Give him back his weenie. <laughs> Their bet worked out. They both believe. W, I don't even know our main character's name. She calls him a Colt Coon. W, a Colt Coon. I would say uh, both of you guys have your quirks. I mean, you are, to him, a very attractive girl, almost butt naked, so I get it. I did say she was looking for someone who's very respectable, a knight in shining armor. We finally get to learn our main character's name. 
ラケンですね。ええ。ダン、ダマダファーカンダン。All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to be honest with you guys. Going into the show, seeing the small bits of the trailer that I had seen, knowing it had something to do with, I thought it was more ghosts. I didn't know aliens were involved at all. I initially, going into the show, was thinking, okay, this is gonna be like Mob Psycho. Very well animated, very cartoony, very crazy. One, I was not expecting the show to be as animated as it is. I know it's weird being, being an anime. You guys know what I'm saying. Like, there are. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? They're so outgoing. I love that. Two, this got dark. We had some aliens about to grape our high school main side main character. Like, and we had Turbo Granny that want that weenie. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is getting this is way darker than I assumed it was. But I love that concept of a girl who's had her own struggles, isolated with her own things, a guy who's had his own struggles, ice completely separate, nothing to do with each other. One just happens to be about ghosts, one happens to be about aliens, and they just don't believe each other with the opposite way. And so they have this random ass bet, and now all、oh, this is insane. Literally insane. That first episode, I think, in terms of pure shock value and my face being as shocked as it was, I think that tops Goblin Slayer's first episode. And that's saying something. Like, I was shook for a solid two minutes of Goblin Slayer when that shit happened. I was shook for the entire last half of that episode. That was crazy first episode. Wow. Banger opening, banger ending, banger animation. The character designs I thoroughly enjoy. Art is so crazy.、Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them, and do a good deed today. As You never know what aliens are in. Hey, if you guys ever get kidnapped, or... two rules. Don't give anyone your banana. Don't give a granny your weenie. Two rules. Make sure you live by it. Thank you. Have a great day, Apple Squad.